The whole family vlog trend is on a massive downward spiral and I can just see it's gonna get so much worse. Like it can't be healthy for the future generation to be raised by parents who care more about clicks and likes and what will get views than the actual well-being of their child. But hey, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can maybe tell, I saw something on the internet yet again that infuriated me so much that I had to make a video about it. So here we are. So there's a YouTube family vlogger mom by the name of Jordan Cheyenne who recently displayed some very sociopathic tendencies on her YouTube vlog channel, which really shouldn't be too much of a big surprise when you just look at the other stuff that I've covered here on this channel. I mean, the whole thing of profiting off of your child's emotions is quite the slippery slope. But from what I can gather about this topic, their family's dog was unfortunately unfortunately diagnosed with parvo. If you don't know what parvo is, you are very lucky. Parvo is basically the worst thing a dog can get. Essentially, it's an illness that's highly likely for a dog to pass away from if it hasn't been vaccinated yet. Most puppies are very susceptible to it because they're not old enough to actually get vaccinated against it. So if you're a young child and you find out your dog is probably going to die, that's extremely heartbreaking. That is probably the worst thing that you can find out as a kid. So the video I'm referring to, it seems like they started filming right when they got out of the vet. The kid was completely distraught he was heartbroken and the mom thought this was a great time to not only vlog it but also when they finished vlogging the clip she I guess forgot to edit out the bit where she was begging him to like get close and like try to cry more and like pose for the thumbnail it's some of the most disgusting I've seen on YouTube. I also feel like it's kind of invalidating of his feelings though. He was genuinely crying and then yeah, he and was she's saying, like, oh, cry more, cry. Oh my, just watch this clip. Come here, 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 come here. Come here. Look at me, look at me, look at me. We have to do this, look at me. She's going to be okay. Repeat this, say Rosie is healthy. Look at me, Rosie is healthy. Look at me, Rosie's beautiful. Rosie is strong. She is healthy. She will make it, she will make it. She will make it, she will make it. It's crazy, no, no matter how much you know about positive mindset, law of attraction, it doesn't matter how much you're educated on that when you're in the moment, it's still so hard to not feel sad. I'm gonna let you guys go. I need to go be there for Christian. I just wanted to give you an update because so many of you turned on the countdown reminders for my new video today and you wanted to see our big news. Please pray for her. I know she's going to make it through. She's an amazing, beautiful little girl, and I can't wait for her to bring her home and be part of our family. So if you could pray for us, we appreciate it. I love you guys. Come here. Come closer for the video. Come closer. Come closer. So at this point, I guess she forgot to edit out this bit. Come closer. Put your head, put your head right here. Come closer. Close it down. Put your head down here. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Go like this. No, I'm not. I'm not just usually crying. No, I know. But go like this for the video. Go like this. Put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. No, oh, mama, I'm actually crying. Look at me. 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 I'm actually crying. I know. Look at me. Look at me. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Is that it? I, no, I paused it because it's like, there's still 10 seconds left. This cannot be good for the child at all. So all of her emotions are just fake, it seems like. Because like, she basically completely snapped out of it as soon as she stopped filming her video or she thought she stopped filming her video. Yeah. The kid is just trying to deal with the fact that he might lose his dog and the mom is just busy to like, try to coach him to look even sadder just for the camera when she should be consoling him. She even was like, I gotta be with him now, like fake and for her vlog. And then as soon as that's off, she's like, no, well, actually we got a coach. Look even sadder now. Just keep keep it up. This is good. Good job. This is going to get us a lot of views on YouTube, honey. Are you with me? You would think this is a parody of vlog parents, but this is real. This is probably one of the videos I've made that pissed me off the most easily. Like this is so Disgusting. I can't even believe this. I'm no psychologist, but I'm pretty sure this isn't good for his well-being. Holy sh**. But yeah, since she clearly was called out by a bunch of her viewers, she went out and she edited out that part and then she uploaded this apology video. So here's a clip of that. It has been such an emotional day and I put up that video maybe 30 minutes ago. In the ending of the video, I was just so emotionally Honestly, completely worn out, emotional crying the whole day. I had Christian on my shoulder and I was like, here, come here, come pose for the thumbnail with me after the video was done. And that was so disgusting of me. I should not have done that at all. We were both already so sad and upset and in such a vulnerable state today. And so many of you commented about it. The first video I uploaded, I forgot to edit out like my bloopers. So I edited out the ending. That's a little bit more than just a blooper. How often does this happen? So now this was a mess up by you. So like, what is actually going on behind the scenes of this family? That's not just an oops. So she uploaded this apology, I guess, because she got 
caught acting disgusting and she deleted this apology. So I guess she didn't really mean it. So shout out Ready to Glare who actually managed to download this video because I couldn't get to it before it was deleted. But let's continue. So many of you said, girl, we already saw that. We're so disappointed in you and the mom you are. Like, why would you make him pose for a thumbnail? And my heart like dropped. Your heart didn't drop because you acted like a disgusting mother. Your heart dropped because you got caught acting like a disgusting mother. This is so weird. I rewatched the footage and I cannot believe I rewatched it. And you guys are completely right. A hundred million percent right. And I so hope you know that I'm genuine about that because today was, I'll tell you all about the puppy another day, but we basically got a puppy. Her name is Rosie. We're hoping that she's going to make it through. She has Parvo. We've been in the emergency vet clinic all day. It's so wrong. I should have never done that. Looking back at the footage, I'm so disgusted with myself. I want to thank those of you who brought that to my attention. Some people were like, oh, she's turning off comments because she's ignoring it. This is not me ignoring it. This is me coming on camera five minutes after it happened. No makeup, nothing. Oh, poor you. No makeup. But you apparently deleted this video afterwards, so I don't know how much you even meant this. Coming on and saying, I'm so sorry. Anytime I make a mistake in life or my friends or family do, I'm the first person to say, I will still respect that person if they own it and they say sorry. Well, you're not owning it if you deleted the video. Uh, people sending me extremely extremely harassing, cussing, violent DMs on Instagram. That is never okay. I love my son. We are going through a very emotional situation with the new puppy and me trying to get that thumbnail was just so wrong. It's such poor judgment of me, but it does not condone internet bullying and violence and harassment is a crime. I've gotten some DMs that are disgusting. No one deserves that. I'm not tolerating that. I will own up to everything that I do that is wrong and I will change it, but that is not okay. Welcome to posting content on the internet. That's really just a part of it. Obviously, I don't condone don't go and harass this person. You shouldn't be harassing people, but you should be open to take criticism when you act like a disgusting mother and literally snitch on yourself by uploading it so everyone could see it. It's family vlog Darwinism. It's literally a moment where you can actually see the real family and not the, the mother who edits herself to look like the perfect mother. There's a song by Melanie Martinez called Dollhouse, I think. Yeah. Kind of describes this. Well, just fake family stuff, you know? looking fake. Yeah, this is the definition of a fake family. I will not accept that. You guys know I've always been open to criticism my entire career, like social media career, always. Okay, so why didn't you leave your apology up? If you are cussing or saying something violent about my child or me or threatening us, I- I 100% guarantee that there's no one who's threatening your child. I don't believe that. This is such a- deflection as well. Instead of like standing up and apologizing for what she did, she's complaining about the harassment she got. Yeah, I heard someone else say this. I can't remember who, but someone was saying you can't give an apology while also talking about how you're the victim or yeah, putting like, yourself in a victim literally. position. Every right to block you. I am going to turn off comments on this video only because, not because I can't handle it or I can't respond back. First of all, I, there's no way I'll be res able to respond back to all of them. We're already in such a sad fragile state. I'm going to be up all night tonight checking in with the vet, hoping my new puppy makes it through the night. So I'm going to turn off comments on this video just because I'm already so emotionally, I literally, I can't even take it tonight. I'm so mentally, I literally cannot even take, like I'm mentally at capacity. <laughs> That's so weird. That's such a weird apology. That's not even an apology. It was just like deflecting that she's now the victim because she acted in a disgusting manner. I think she should apologize to her son and work things out with her family. I hope she did. I mean, obviously, that would be even weirder if she filmed an apology to her son. No, and what? Not filmed an apology to her son. I'm saying, oh, I get Yeah, like, like we don't know. I just hope they did that behind the scenes. Oh, my goodness. Vlog families are just so... Just the whole concept of monetizing something that should be like, this is your main job. As a parent, your job is to make sure your child has a good upbringing. Once you start trying to monetize your child's upbringing, the line becomes blurry because then suddenly you're, you're making money off of their emotions. And that's a really slippery slope, which is why I'm not a big fan of family vlog channels. As you can see by all the other videos I've made on various family vlog channels, because at, at some point, they all just seem to do something really weird. And that's probably a side effect of monetizing the upbringing of their kids. If my mom filmed this for me and posted it, I would have been bullied way more in school. <laughs> so he's probably what, I don't know, somewhere between six and nine. So imagine when he gets to like 
middle school and they see that video. Well, that's just a ju- that aren't, doesn't justify him getting bullied, but no, I mean like it do- no, but still, I mean like she's not setting up her. Yeah, it's not a good lifestyle for a kid. Yeah, it's it's really not a good lifestyle. That's what I'm trying to say. I just feel so bad for him. Oh wow. Oh wow. It looks like she deleted her channel. Actually, it's not showing at all. Wait, let's see. Filter channels. It looks like she definitely deleted her channel. Can you private an entire channel? Well, you can private all the videos on it, but I'm assuming the channel would still show up, right? Because she didn't have 47 subs, right? No, I think yeah. she had way more. Yeah, no, no, she's gone. The biggest channel by with her name is 40, 49 subscribers. So, uh, if there's any takeaways from this video, uh, don't monetize your children's trauma. That's probably not a good thing to do. That's definitely not a good thing to do. <laughs> let me rephrase that. But other than that, let me know what you guys think of all this down in the comments down below. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.